Money Boy in the building. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all feeling like me because once again, I'm feeling amazing. But let me start off by saying this. Everything that I do is for fun and games, informational, entertainment, educational purposes only. I do this because I want to. You do this because you want to, not because somebody told you to. And with that being said, I know my rights and all my rights are reserved. What's going on out there today, people? You know, like I said in my video um, yesterday that I was getting a lot of feedback from a lot of you um, subscribers now a lot of people was asking me about the 1099 OID process and like I said before I would dig into it if questions were coming in so check what I found look at this this right here is instructions for how to do a 1099 in 2019 you gotta have the red one if you wanna scan it you gotta have the, the black one, if you want to mail it back in, right? So, with that being said, let me tell you exactly what a 1099 is. 1099 is an IRS tax form. The, the Internal Revenue Services tax form used for taxpayers, i.e. independent contractors, consultants, investors, <clears throat> to report income, whether from work, or from investments that is not from a salaried income. So, uh, um, a OID is original issue discount. So, check. Think about this, y'all. Every time you go to endorse a check with the bank, the bank will hold your check for up to 36 months. And it will trade it for over 10 times the original amount. Example. You write or cast a check for $2,000 for your bank or at a check cashing place. They gonna trade it for 36 months and get in back around 20,000 off of your $2,000 without giving you anything. Hmm. So once you file a 1099 OID, that's when you'll be able to get some of that cash back, but you still also gotta pay taxes on that. <coughs> so, to all of the ones who are gonna try the 1099 OID method and send this forms off, um, you gotta do it by January 31st, and to the IRS you gotta send it off by February. Or if you're gonna do it electronically, you got till March 31st. So like I said, y'all, if you're gonna do it in the black form, you gotta send it off by January 31st. So you gotta do it now. If you're gonna do it in the red form then you can do it by March 31st so I a lot of y'all had asked me what about that 1099 process and like I said I just wanted to know exactly what it is and what the process meant and now that I see what it is hey it's up to you don't forget to like share subscribe and oh yeah don't forget to uh, get your free hemp um sample in my link in the description below and i'll also put a link in the description below for you to go to the irs website and get those exact forms that y'all just seen me with you can get those for yourself money boy in the building i hope that right there helped y'all out on what a 1099 really is money boy in the building stay feeling amazing